Don't drink and drive, folks. You're stupid. I don't drink and drive. Uh, well, not since those fucking pigs took my license. <laughs> 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 don't applaud that. That was terrifying. My God. <laughs> don't, but I'm not going to lie. I have gotten a ride home with a drunk driver before. And the most terrifying experience of my life, I'll tell you guys the story. It's me and my best friend Dave. And we go to this house party. And, and I get so drunk at this thing, all I do want to do is pass out. So I go in my buddy's spare bedroom. And I'm lying there for five, ten minutes. And that's when I realize I got the spin so bad that I'm too drunk to sleep. <laughs> you ever been too drunk to sleep? Isn't that a proud moment for you right there? I'm lying down in the spare room, too drunk to sleep. You know what I mean? Because hey, when you're too drunk to sleep, that's when you realize, hey, hey man, uh, you know, I can drink a bottle of water and go back to bed, or I can do four more shots of tequila and pass out in the bathroom. <laughs> and tequila wins out every time, doesn't it? Doesn't it? You wake up at 7 a.m. the next day on that cold ceramic tile, some guy you don't know kicking the ribs going, get out of the bathroom, I got the beer shits, get out. <laughs> 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 this time I did the responsible thing. I just grabbed a bottle of water. I sat down on the couch and I'm thinking about going back to bed. So as I'm sitting there on the couch, that's when my buddy Dave, he stumbles up to me, my, my buddy Dave, and he goes, he goes, he goes, hey, Jeff, you, you, want, you want to hit the road? Let, let, let's head on back home to Acton. <laughs> just almost throwing up in his mouth as he's saying this. My right, almost puking. So, so me being a comic, I'm observant, all right? <laughs> I pick up on this. <laughs> I say to my buddy Dave, I say, Dave, don't think a little too drunk to be driving. And this is what my buddy Dave says to me, and I can't write jokes like this. I swear to God, my buddy Dave looks at me, he goes, he goes, yeah, I'm a little bit hammered, but fuck it, we'll stop and get a pita. Stop and get a pita. What kind of drunk logic is that? <laughs> right, but I'm so drunk, my only response to that is, oh shit, I like pitas. <laughs> so we hop in the truck and we go to pita pit. And we get there, we're eating our pitas, not really enjoying them though, because for guys, eating drunk is a lot like drunk sex for us. That our senses are so dull, we don't really feel anything. We're just trying to cram shit in the hole. <laughs> Tell me I'm lying. Shut up. <laughs> we get back in the truck, and most of the way home, uh, Dave doing a killer job, so I start to get a little cocky. I'm like, oh, shit, Dave's got this one, so I just gaze out the side of the window. But when I turn around about five minutes later, that's when Dave decides he's going to play a little game while he's driving. He's going to spice things up a bit. And the game, folks, is called Bobbing for Steering Wheel. <laughs> so I get terrified, right? I'm like, Dave, Dave, you got to wake up, buddy. <laughs> Dave goes, oh, oh, sorry, Jeff. You mind if I turn on the radio? Help keep me awake. So I'm like, sure, Dave, turn the radio. What's he turn it to? Fucking country music station. <laughs> and not just any country song playing at the time. That stupid Save a Horse Ride a Cowboy song is on. <laughs> As soon as Dave hears this, the idiot switch just clicks, man. He goes, dude, I love this song. And he cranks up the radio. Then I look at the speedometer, 85, 90, 95. Starts accelerating. So I'm terrified, right? Then, then, then I'm like, what, what the hell is he doing? He rolls down the window. What the hell is he doing? Starts air bull whipping up the side of the truck. Yeah. <laughs> Get out of my way, you son of a Woo! So I'm horrified, right? But just as I can't get any more scared, just as I can't get any more terrified, that's why my buddy Dave turns to me and he says to me the two words that as a passenger, you never want to hear a drunk driver say to you. He looks at me and he goes, <laughs> watch this. <laughs> I said, watch this. Dave hammers it, takes it off into a fucking field. <laughs> And we start doing donuts like we one day donut. <laughs> so guys, a little tip for you. Guys, if you ever had a house party and your ride home is even drunker than you, unless you want to end up doing donuts in a field uh, with your head full of regret <laughs> and your pants full of shit. <laughs>
As you just, you think things over and call a cab. Thank you so much for your time, guys.